give this Cave of Trials a shot. This is the Cave of Trials, the only monitored cave system in all of Asia. It is owned by the Mages Guild of Afiri and has three levels. Each level is far more dangerous than the one above it, so tread carefully. Oh, and do you know this is where the Mages Guild sends their members to take certain tests? It's because this is pretty far from Afri, and so the members would have to put some effort into getting here. Now thanks to the Warp Crystals, that reason has kind of been rendered moot. Okay, I have no idea how tough the upper floors are. Let's see, I think we're only supposed to deal with the first part of it. Yes, just all we have to do is kill the black hole imp. Anything beyond that is probably too high level for me. Hmm. Okay, purple floor will damage the party. Yeah, let's tread carefully and hope I don't have to actually go across any purple floors to proceed. There's a storm shard in here as well. Oh joy. Where am I going? No way, I think I missed the path. Anyways, the monsters here are far below my skill level. Haha! -ha! Or power level in this case. What the? Multi-shot! Rat tail. I think I may have an anti-beast one on him right now. Yeah, I do. But I don't think imps count as beasts, so it's probably a moot point. It might work well against many of the enemies here, like the rats. Bun. Um, what am I looking at here? Goblin Rogue. I will quick jab you before you can steal anything from me. Haha. Yeah, see, Elric is fast enough to. <laughs> Punch those goblins before they can do anything. Oh, this must be the storm shard. Kenrod's party got the upper hand. Multi shot. Come on, how can you miss a time like that? Slime blue and level up. Do you learn anything new? Let's see... Breath of the Earth... Yeah, I already learned that one earlier from that... Oh, now I have Curse of Thunder. I don't have any Thunder AoEs, though. That's a shame. Okay, I think Storm Shard is really all I need to worry about right now. And this must be the Imp. Well, that was a rather fast quest. Let's hope I can kill it. Well, this is a weird looking Imp. wonder if this is the one we were told to beat. Uh... This one. Death mark? What was that? Anyways, apparently it's immune to physical attack, so yeah, I'm just gonna Kenra and Elric are just gonna be here to uh, to just throw items. Immune to Earth as well. Hmm. Mind booster on Sharina. Okay, Mega Flame. 
Ah. Blinded, huh? Minor healing potions should suffice. This boss is still pretty fast. Ah! Whoa. Guard. Just one more time and it should be enough. No, two more times. Oh, shit. Good thing I have so many Phoenix potions from the casino. Guard. Guard. Oh, that was close. Purifying Ray. Oh shoot, that still wasn't enough to kill it. Healing Potion. Soul Breaker! It... Come on, Sharina, just one more time. Mini Flame. Black, black, black. White, black, white. Huh? What the heck is this all about? Okay. I'll just type that down real quick. 2B... WBW. Or no, BB... W yeah, BBWBW. That should be good enough. Huh, got brain freeze or something? Let's remember to sequence just in case. Woohoo, I'm finally gonna be a member of the Mages Guild. Doesn't say anything more. Alright. Hmm. Okay, so now what? Who do I talk to for the- oh, sorry, I better talk to the boss here. Welcome, young ones, to the only arcane centric. Join the guild. Have you defeated the imp yet? Um... Black, black, white, black, white. Wait, I didn't actually have to manually input it? Alright, that's fine. Hmm, I see. That's one stupid way to pass on a message. Or is it? The, in the sensor test is also a placement test of sorts. And this message system is a good way for me to find out the exact results of the battle, without worrying about getting a false report. How so? I think it is a pr it's a pretty nice system. So how do we do? Well, we did pass, but barely. While your skills were strong enough to beat the imp, they were a bit unrefined. Plus, your placement is at the apprentice level. Of course, you can work your way up at the ranks by passing the appropriate promotion tests. With that said, would you like to join the guild as apprentices? Yes, we'd love to. We want to improve. Splendid. Here's your membership card. You're now officially apprentices of this guild. Huh. Is there an actual ranking of how well we did in battle? I know I'm going to rank really low unless there's some kind of bonus or difficulty level. You can now buy mage equipment from our guild shop, receive specialized training from our proctors, and take on contracts posted here. Come back to me anytime you want to take on a promotion test. We will have a magical time here with us. Okay. Never mind. Let's see what kind of stuff I can buy here. Hmm. I already have some of these, don't I? Inferno stick. Well, it's it's pretty good for speed, but not for other stats. Hmm. Tome of Cheaters? Huh? MP cost is lowered, but it also lowers my max hit point in MP. And it gives me a lot less magic attack. 
Hmm, this one is legendary tier. Let's take it. We need the speed. Yeah. Much power. It'll make up for the losses from the white hands. Take no damage when walking on lava or poison. Do I need one of these for the whole party, or four, or four of these for the whole party? Uh, so look at that speed boost. These two are not going to be wanting for speed for a while, huh? Yes. Resist dark, resist blind and bleed. Resist light as well. Hmm. Yeah, this should work. What my mage hat? Would this be worth it? Nah. Let's not. Also says I can learn new spells, but we're, who's gonna teach these to me? You? Each of our gets special rewards for every 3rd, 7th, and 11th contract they finish. The entrance and promotion test count toward that as well, so that technically I need two more. So, um, how do I learn new spells, then? You? Sharina? It only costs Sharon to learn new spells? Seriously? Oh, nice. And since I'm rolling in money, this will be easy for me. Haha. -ha. There's... Yes, I think the... I like this guild more than the hunting guild already. It only costs money, which I can easily farm at the casino. Ha <laughs> ha. Hmm, this is some pretty powerful stuff here. <laughs> this only works for one turn, though. But it does. It sounds like it boosts more than mind boost. Okay. Alright, how's everything? Rurona, what do you have? All... Uh, all kinds of ailments and slight hit point healing. All allies agility up? H hell yeah, I'm getting this one. This is the mo This is gonna be one of the better ones. Everlasting. Be in the silence. Angelic. Yes. Such power. Angelic is probably better here. Clergic. Everlasting. Immune to silence. Magic Apprentice. There's also quick fire, but it only works for the first spell. Magic Apprentice will give me more long term mileage, huh? Astra Apprentice for Thunder, Omniscient, plus more MP. But she already has so much MP, it's kind of useless. Okay. Mini Elemental Dance, and I got some good combos here. Yes. The Mage Guild is far better in every way possible. Seriously. In the Hunter Guild, I pretty much have to worry about sp my Hunter Coins all the time. And I can't easily farm them, but here, I only need to farm money! Ha! This is clearly the best guild. Okay, it's time to explore Avedi Square, aka Serpent Gang Territory. This is a Vedi Square named after the priestess who healed the hearts of many, promoting her ideals of love and peace. Oh, the irony. So it's sad and ironic this place has become a nest of crime. Might want to move out of my way so I can get in the house. Yeah. Empty bottles. 
This isn't one of the city's safer squares. I wouldn't worry too much about the Serpent Gang since they almost never attack civilians. The woodcutters, on the other hand, they're more savage and unpredictable too. My parents said I could have one wish for my birthday, so I wish to eat cake every day for a whole year. That's a pretty good wish. I'd love to eat cake every day too. Uh, That does not sound very healthy. Is there an achievement for talking to every mirror in the game? Mostly fictional books, non-neurotic ones. Is that all you ever look for whenever you spot a bookshelf? Page of Wisdom times three. I still have not used any of them. If, if there was a way to get a guaranteed encounter with a legendary monster, it might be worth using. But instead, I'm probably going to have to save it for a tough bonus boss so I can reap the rewards and make myself more prepared for the next boss. I'm not a fighter, so I can't really protect my family in case of an attack. So to avoid being targeted, I use most of my savings to buy my son a whole year's supply of cake. You could have instead just deposited that money into uh, the Bank of Moralia, you know. And allowed the Empire to waste my hard-earned cash on this meaningless war? Cake is a far better investment than that. Let them eat cake, huh? Maybe you should have uh, bought more weapons and stuff. Oh no. Serpent Gang is very powerful, yet surprisingly non aggressive. They're not easily provoked into attacking, so they tend not to cause much trouble around here. Understandably, though, their presence still unnerves the citizenry. I guess that's a more pragmatic take. If they were too violent, then the guards might cra crack down on them. What the heck is this place? Pages? No. And who's that mixing medicine over there? Hello, I don't think we've met before. Me neither, and I never forget a pretty face. What's your name, woman? My name is Jennifer, and I'm the local doctor. I treat those who otherwise cannot get quality medicinal treatment. Medical treatment, yeah, sorry. You wanna check up on me anytime you want, lady. You certainly don't dress like a regular doctor. Uh, that's because I'm not. I'm registered with the Serpent Gang as their official medic. Don't, but don't worry, I won't fight. Regardless of whether in the Serpent Gang or not, I treat just about anyone who needs medical help, while trying to be as affordable as I can be in my current lifestyle. Wow, I never thought, uh, thought someone from the Serpent Gang could be so nice. We sure to stop by when we need your services, so long as you don't mind Kenrad and his affection, for lack of a better word. It's alright, I deal with this sort of affection all the time. I hope you have a good day. I was hoping to buy medicine from her. Okay, time to go to the next house. What's this really green looking place? Uh, I don't know which- that guy walking away. Uh, this is my old place, so I'm sure the Serpent Gang members are using it as a base for their operations now. It looks so much more grand than I expected it to be. Yeah, my father spent a fortune on this house. That's why I was so devastated when I had to part with it. Let's not linger here for too long. We don't want to arouse the gang's suspicions. State your business. Never mind. Save... Then Who's this guy? Hmm? Is he, is he a, the boss of the Serpent Gang? But no, if he was, then he wouldn't be standing out guard. He'd be counting monies or something. We have come to pay Shere repay Sharina's loan. Come between 9 p.m. to 3 a.m. Oh, come on. That's gonna take forever. Yeah. Guess let's have to wait. Be right back, Len. Okay. Now we can repay her loan. Very well, follow me. But how much is it gonna cost? 
Hey, Pinky, you're sure this is the right place? It looks like she... Shh, can you keep her voice down, please? Also, this is the right place. This is a storeroom they use for smaller deals, like the one we are here for. Mostly lower rank members of the Serpent Gang Gara here, but nevertheless, be careful. Don't touch anything or do anything else that you don't need to. Boss. This is scary. One false move and I could be fighting all Mala. The name is Sergei. My men informed me of your purpose in coming here. So I believe you have the Krillin jewels with you? I can't believe this pillock has been promoted. He used to be my underling back in the day, and a very incapable one at that. Oh yes sir, all ten Krillin jewels right here. You do realize that since this payment is one and a half years late, your debt is 13 Krillin jewels now. I trust you can do the math? Um, yes of course. Three left to go. I'll be sure to pay back the remainder of the debt, but now I wanted to get the initial payment out of the way. Very well. But the interest will keep building at the agreed upon rate. You'd best get those three jewels quickly, lady, or you'll be owing us even more. Sigh. Fair enough, I guess. Where can I find these things? Where do I get these? Krillin jewels. How do I get more? Let's see now. One, two... Who the fuck was that? What? Jonas? He was one of our most loyal men. Why did he do this? Alright, who put him up to this? Was it the woodcutters? The mirage? Boss, I'm very sorry to say that I'm late. I was drugged, apparently with an opiate. And then I later found myself missing my uniform. Luckily, I had spares. Ah! It was a spy! Now I understand. No wonder he smelled like a girl earlier. Classic identity theft. Gah! Maybe you guys should consider a different dress code. It was due to your negligence that someone stole uh, from right under our noses. That never happened, ever even happened before. I... I apologize, Officer Sir Jonas. I rushed here as fast as I could after waking up, but I'm afraid it was still too late. I... have never been so humiliated in my life. You, Elf, that payment is null and void. You still owe me 13 of those jewels. Hey, that's not fair. The jewels are taking it from your own hands and your own base. Why should I be responsible for your lack of security? Because it could have been a setup to clear debt without having to pay anything at all. Unless you can prove otherwise, you still owe me. Oh yeah? How do we know it wasn't a setup to get twice the payment from us? Watch it, Lay. I'm not in the mood for any of this. Everyone, let us please settle down and think about this rationally. We can find our answers after fighting the thief. Speaking of, I'm sure they left some sort of trail. Hmm, of course, I was thinking the same thing. Jake, get up, you pencil neck. You only took one punch. Gah, that's so so freaking insane. Sorry, if he, uh, sir, the thief was so fast, I couldn't stop him. Or her. Probably a her based on that perfume. Anyway, let's talk about this later. For now, go find any clues she may have left. Seriously, what the hell? And how am I supposed to get the payment now? Ah, oh. Sir, so if he did not drop any belongings, but there are a few strands of hair on the ground. Must have fallen off when I try to stop her. May I have a look at them? I may be able to find a lead. Alright. Here. Ah. Uh. So, what do you find? This is orange wavy hair of medium length. Most likely a female, as you suspected. It must be her, I'm certain. Hmm. Do you know anyone who fits that description? Unfortunately, I don't. This is my first time in the city, but we may find a fee, provided you give us enough time. Fair enough, take your time, and remember, Elf, the interest will keep piling up. You must pay in jewels this time. No Sharons, unless you have twice the amount your debt is worth. Shh. Fine, but why only jewels? Because you're back sassing from earlier. Now, for your sakes, I, you best pay up ASAP. That's a dick move. I could have farmed plenty of Sharons. So, where exactly do I find... Where exactly do you recommend we go? So, what do we do now? How do we get a hold of this thief without any leads? Listen, I know who this thief is. Of this, I have no doubt. We shouldn't bother with chasing after her. It would be like chasing a shadow. How do you know this thief? And if it 
be such a waste of time, then what should we do? We should proceed as we usually do, and we will come across her in due time. You'll understand everything then. It is a rather complicated matter, but I ask you to trust me on this. Well, in that case, alright, I'll trust you. That's not good. It's gonna be a long runner of a quest. That was disappointing. Holy crap, I actually got four sevens in a row. I didn't even think that was statistically possible. Imagine if I got five s if, uh, sevens. But I would probably have more than enough chips to beat the game with now. Seriously. Better save. Surprise, there's no achievement for that. It's probably too luck based. So yeah, that makes sense. Uh, the bouncers aren't going to kill me for this, are they? Seriously, bouncers usually get suspicious if you win too much. Okay, I think I should move on with the story now. And see if I can get some more people to join. Plus, there's going to be a really weird arc coming up soon. Average citizen can get lost inside? Oh boy. And just who are we suppo uh, supposed to talk to General Baraxis? Aurelian Imperial Palace. Welcome to Imperial Palace, fellow Asians. If you'd like to take a look inside, just let me know and I'll have a guard escort you wherever you'd like to go. However, keep in mind that not all parts of the palace are available to the public. And where would you like to visit today? Um, I guess I might... I don't think there's anything I can really... Not much I can really do here, right? Let's see... Banquet hall. No events. Shoot. Hmm. Okay. I ha I can either ch keep the ring or not keep the ring. Thing is, this ring can prevent random encounters, so. I really don't want to let go of it. Unless I can find an equivalent effect, then it's just not worth it. So, um... Seriously. I don't see any much info in Silvari's tomb either, huh? Ugh, this is so frustrating. And it has to be mutually exclusive for some reason. I don't know why. Ugh. Who designed this? Arg. Okay, visit general. Very well. Whom would you like to visit? I already. Fiona's already in town. Geraldus is dead, so Baraxis. General Baraxis is not like having visitors who haven't scheduled an appointment. However, I can let you in if you provide a good enough reason. Good enough reason? Well, good thing I have one. My name is Kenred Krauser. I'm the son of Kargan Krauser. Before he was sent here to Moralia, he left me with a ring with a coded message. Captain Blondie, I mean Galahad of Mid Glen, suggested I ask General Baraxis for help with this message. Yeah, the, I, the thing is, the person who made the guide might not have, uh, uh, might not have uh, done multiple playthroughs. So, uh, especially since the, uh, 
Especially when they mostly pick the good karma choices. So, hmm, what should I do? Oh, I see. Very well, I shall summon an escort for you. However, since you are the only one who has business with the general, your friends will have to wait outside until your meeting is finished. Why not me? They never have anything useful to say anyway. Kenrad, you do realize if you anger the general with your petty insults, we won't be able to save you from his wrath. And yeah, he'll be fine. Besides, the last thing I need is to be saved by a... potato. Oh, come on. I rather hope so. Do try to come back in one piece. The guard is ready to escort you whenever you are. Good, just lead the way. Gah, gonna have to make an edit there. I currently have it equipped, but should I keep it or not? It's so, like, what else can I actually give to him? There aren't really that many great accessories out there for me. This is quite a big decision. Say your name and your business being here. This guy looks super angry. Reply politely why you look so angry. Oh no. My name is Kenred and I'm a hunter by profession. I come from the village of Mid Glen. Today I come to humbly ask for your assistance in a matter which concerns my father. A man who serves the Empire, Captain Cargan Krauser. Damn, this is harder than I thought. For in parentheses. Very well. I'll try to help with what I can, but I will not make any promises. Speaking of your father, you're worried that your father abandoned his last mission and never returned to the army, correct? Wait, what? What, really? Well, that sure comes as a surprise to me, but I feel that he must have had his reasons to do so. Like getting whomped by a monster. Where his reasons were, I'm not aware of them, but he forgot the most basic principle. The Empire always comes first no matter what. I believe no one except the Emperor, His Majesty himself knows the reason why he abandoned his task. But if His Majesty decides not to make it public, I believe he is making the right choice. The Emperor always knows what's best for Aegea. Arg. Guess you're right. The inf guess the information must be something that cannot be made public yet, and it is a decision made in the interest of the Empire. Hmm. I didn't expect you to understand so quickly, but it helps that you do. Well, it can't be helped my father's whereabouts are still unknown. There is another reason why I came here. Please see this. Kenrad hands over the mysterious ring to Baraxis. Interesting. There is quite a lot of content written on the ring. Though it is impossible for me to decipher it, I can tell from my expertise that this is an ancient elven script, and not even the elves of today should be familiar with. And if I give up this ring, I'm going to get screwed in every random encounter. I don't like this. This is really a horrible choice. Couldn't they have given me- if it was just a stat-boosting ring alone, it would be an easy decision, but here, not so much. I really need- to prevent random encounters because I am on hard mode. It was the last swing my father left for me before he was dispatched to Moralia. I have reasons to believe this ring could be a very important key to answering many of the unsolved riddles regarding his disappearance. I understand. If you believe the ring to be so important, there are experts in the Empire who are capable enough to decipher it. I mean the ring for the time being and I shall engage a specialist to reveal its meaning for you. How does that sound? Sounds good. So how much is it going to cost me? Not a thing. Though I completely disagree with your father's decision to abandon the mission, I still owe him a lot for all the times he fought under my banner. Besides, you have come to seek my help and I have no intentions of turning you down. Whether or not you agree a part of the ring for the time is a choice that is yours to make. I'm honored that you would offer to do that. Maybe he isn't such a bad guy after all. Oh, this is bad. Why is Why does the ring even affect which tomb I can get into? That makes absolutely no freaking sense. I don't get it. Grr. I mean, this, what do I do? 
What do I do? Hmm. Okay, I looked it up. In the long run, you will be able, even if you hold on to the ring, you will be able to find a way to decipher it in a different way. So I might as well hold on to it and enjoy my lack of ambushes. As much as I honor your offer, I'm afraid I will have to decline it. My father wanted me to hold on to the ring. I'm sure he has had reasons for it too. I'll try to find a way to decipher the writings on my own. I understand. I respect your judgment. I wish you good luck on your quest. Huh, I'm glad that went over well. This audience is now over. Dismissed! Shish. This is why I thought you had a human side. Okay, in that case, I'm gonna put that damn thing back on, cause no, cause random encounters and ambushes, yeah. Don't wanna be ambushed, ever. I'm certain that this is the best choice. Stay out of trouble. Um. What if I try to go in this bedroom? I no! I believe that whatever your business entails it has nothing to do with my private bed chambers. So they forbid you from entering it. <laughs> oh oh hell no! He has an anger level. Oh shoot! I'm gonna. I better reload. Holy crap! Not see that coming. He has an anger level. What happens if I make him too angry though? Oh man, I did not see that coming. Anger level increasing. I'm gonna do it again. I just wanna see. Oh, I guess it's only one of many ways you can anger him. You actually have to deliberately screw up to max out his anger gauge, I suppose. In that case, run. Let me know when you're ready to go back. All done, Metal Pants. Let's go. <sighs> I'm glad I did not give the ring to him after all. Glad to see you in s still in one piece. So how'd it go? Everything went smoothly. I found what, that the scripture on the ring is actually an ancient elven scripture. Only thing is that I refused his help when he offered to take in the ring for a while to get deciphered. I figured it would be better to do it on my own. I kind of agree with your decision there. The yes men of the Emperor are not to be trusted with your valuables. Anyway, I know an elven elder who is capable of reading the ancient elven script, but the thing is, he is not always available. I can try writing a letter to him, though, and we will visit him once he gives a reply. How's that sound? Hey, that's actually not a bad idea. You do that, girl, and I promise to buy fertilizers for your hair. You want my help or not? Relax, I was just messing around. I think Arshin should be ready and waiting by now. Let's go pay him a visit. This is my last chance before a, a really difficult story event. Yeah, this is the best decision. Sure, I end up in a different ruin, but... Hmm. Also, the Elder is supposed to live in the house in the east of Wodovir Farm. Huh. And this is story related, so I won't be able to get to it for a while. Shoot. Okay, Arshin should be in this nicer looking inn. There he is. Take a seat in or wherever you like. It's best to discuss our strategy over a meal. If you're worried about the expenses, don't. I'll cover the whole bill. Go nuts. Uh, that wasn't it, but thanks, stupid mind readers. Twenty minutes later. I've met Kenra and Elric, but I haven't met you two, now have I? My name's Morrigan, and I'm Master Arshan's protege. Nice to meet you. I'm Sharina Sanakia, and this here is Rona. We're both mages traveling together wherever we go. Hello, it is a pleasure to meet you. It is our first time here in Moralia. Yeah, and we couldn't have made it here if you two didn't save us back then. So thank you two very much. 
You're welcome. Also, that was some pretty bad luck for you guys, running into the cult of Sargoth like that. There are amongst the most nefarious organizations around, only rising to power because of our empire's negligence. Meh. They're not that tough, they just caught me off guard back then. Less than a day earlier, we'd be a different true demon. A weak one. One that wasn't even as strong as the, uh, the enemies in Southeast Asia. Hmm. I don't buy it, but if you did be, be the true demon, you shouldn't have too much trouble helping me with a few things. Let me ask, what exactly are we to do? Master Minoche mentioned how he once defeated Beast Queen Asanfi in the Battle of Fur Caves. But how would that help us trace Akia? That battle took place 26 years ago, if I remember correctly. You remember right, but that won't be a problem for my theoretical sorcerers and alchemists. To find the Sword of Lead, all they need is something that can be traced back to its origin regardless of its age. And that's not all. Remember how I took the jar with a few leftover drops of the beast blood? All we need to do now is find out if it has a sun feast genes. That can help us track down Akia, since in that case, it'd probably be hers. It may not make much sense at first, but let's take it step by step. First, there is a Sanfi who had the beast blood in its purest form. She passed it down to three human children who then became half beasts of sorts. One of them was Akia, and then we have small fries like Zangard who used the blood to transform the demons, forever trading in their sanity for power. Hmm. I think I get a gist of it, but I remember you saying that Akia could become more powerful than the Beast Queen herself. How would that be possible if she is but a human borrowing the Beast Queen's power? Except she's not but a human borrowing Asanfi's power. She's a half beast that inherited Asanfi's power. You see, before Akia's mother gave her birth, Asanfi had cast a spell to change Akia's genes to become closer to her own. Plus, our little apocalypse in Wang is carrying the genes of both her parents and Asanfi, giving her the combined potential of both a human and a beast queen. That means she could potentially become vastly stronger than an individual of either species could ever hope to be. Now do you understand? Ah uh, yes, it's crystal clear to me now. Now I understand why you're so intent on hunting her. Hick. Damn, this is some good wine, man. I love this place. Oh no. Hey, someone had to lighten the mood. I knew you'd ruin the mood like that at some point in this conversation. Is that sad? Hey, I heard everything at least. Anyway, what's the next step? We will be heading out to Brantford Caves right after my archaeologists finish analyzing the beast blood. But first, we'll have to go to the Emperor's sister's wedding. Turns out I was invited. Wait, but why do we have to go? It's not like we have anything to, to, to contribute there, right? Wait, seriously? Master Arshan, you never told me you were invited. Wow, it must be quite the honor. I knew you were famous, but not that famous. Hmm, wasting time on a wedding is the last thing I want to do right now. But I'd rather not get on the Emperor's bad side, so that's where you come in. You can only bring up two friends or family members with me to the banquet. You all come with me, and I'll say that I can't go without all five of you. They'll give me an excuse not to attend. And then we can get back to business. Ah. Uh, well, you're right. Getting rid of Akia comes first. I used to attend banquets a lot when I was younger. I can't remember it too well, though, for I was only a child. Hick. So when's the party? They'll start soon, so we better get moving. But they'll just chew us out since we're not dressed for a wedding. Sanakia, was it? That's the idea. Now let's just get it over with. They temporarily joined me? Wait a minute. How can you temporarily join me? You're not in my party. What? What's going on here? This is weird. Very weird. How do they temporarily join me when I don't see their, them in the menu at all? They're definitely not in the party. I cannot swap them in or out. Weird. Very weird. I'm guessing this also means I cannot I cannot leave or anything. Wait. 
Oh, I guess these two are considered a parallel quests, and once I get the- that's all the- alright. I was wondering why it didn't disappear all of a sudden. So now I have to go to the palace, huh? Time to save. I want to save in a separate slot. I'm not, I don't think I can actually leave this town right now. If I try, they'll probably stop me. I'll confirm it just in case. Nope. I can't even leave the general area. I better just go get it over with. Have done. No. No independent entry. No. Okay, barracks. Can you can fool around all you want in your own time, but we have business to attend to. Interesting. So they account for that too. Does that mean I could have visited visited barracks before? Shoot. In that case, I will go to banquet hall. The wedding ceremony of Princess Marina. His Majesty's sister and Lord Brington, Scion of Skakoba, is about to commence. Do you have an invite? Here you go. Ah, the veteran of Skakoba himself. Sire, please accept my apologies for not recognizing you right away. I presume these ladies and gentlemen are your escorts? Yes, all five of them. They are my closest confidants and they accompany me at all times. You know, you didn't really have to bring all of us, wouldn't you? Wouldn't Morgan be enough? I see. I apologize again, but invited guests may only bring up to, uh, up to two others to this event. Really? Weird. Ah, well. That is unfortunate. I was looking forward to the ceremony, but I'm afraid I cannot go without all my confidants. Now if you'll excuse me. Please wait, sire. If they are that close to you, I'm sure we can come to an arrangement. I'm guessing he's gonna get docked if he doesn't get Arshin into the banquet. Oh no, please no. It's quite alright. You do not have to go through all that trouble for me. Would you not be going against your superior's orders? Worry not, sire. This escort limitation is more of a guideline than an actual rule. It was made to keep the palace from becoming overcrowded. Since that is far from the case, we can make exceptions such as this on occasion. Also, if the Emperor learns that you left because of something like this, he would he not hesitate to have my head on a platter, figuratively and literally. Yes, yes, yes! Are you alright, Sire? You look a bit pale. I think you should go in just so, that's, just so this guard captain does not get killed. It would really suck if he got screwed over by one of the Empire's own regulations. It is nothing. Although my partners and I are not properly dressed for the occasion, it would be rather embarrassing to attend like this. We have that covered as well, sir. We have a vast array of exquisite garments for any honored guests to rent during these events, along with changing rooms. Free of charge, naturally. Ah, that is quite a relief. We shall attend after all that. Uh, you lost this one, Arshan. Relief? <laughs> I've got nothing else up my sleeve. Hooray, party time! What? What would a Kenrad look in, like in a suit? Mr. Krauser, is everything alright? You have been there for quite a while now. Yeah, I'll be out in a minute. Where'd all my Sharons go? They took my monies! Alright, it's a bit uncomfortable, but not near as bad as I thought it'd be. Why did they take all my money? I'm gonna have to earn that all back now! I should have bought some gold or some... Is it even possible to buy gold bars in this game? It would be nice if there was something with a, a, a consistent exchange rate so you could d prevent uh, so you could prevent any money loss whatsoever. Save over file six. He looks w weird in a suit. Oh, you look marvelous in that attire, sir. Quite a good choice of garments, I must say. Feels a bit itchy though. I don't think I'm getting used to this anytime soon. Where'd all my money go? 
Not to worry, you should feel comfortable in no time. Now I do hope you enjoy the party. Meanwhile, amongst my other duties, I shall keep all your belongings safe. You may come to collect them after the ceremony. We're gonna lose our stuff, aren't we? All the hard-earned progress! I wonder how the others are dressed up. This will be fun, and I'm sure I'll find some fine ladies looking for a great hero to dance with. If I knew this would happen, I would have bought, like, t a bunch of each fairy consumable. <laughs> this is my lucky day. Maybe if I manage to get through this part, I should go buy some more fairy consumables before I lose all my money in a stupid event, yeah? Yeah. Uh. So, um... Talk to every... This place is bigger than I thought it'd be. And right now, I'm only here because of Arshan's fame. One day, I'll make enough of a name for myself so that's my awesomeness that gets me here. Guess we got uh, got here pretty early. I got some time to kill before the whole ceremony starts. Where is there so many golden chests? What the heck? Uh. What are you doing? Kenrad, that looks very good on you. I never thought that such formal attire would fit you this well. Oh yeah? Well you look even... Okay, another edit! Great! I thought that wasn't even possible. You know what? I take that back. Refined clothes don't mix well with an unrefined mouth. Oh, just chill out, Pinky. You're in a party full of gorgeous, rich chicks and you're wasting your time talking to some random guy? What? This is no random guy, Kenrath. This is Zach Gaivarde, my childhood friend. Please make your, make your acquaintance, Kenrad. Me and I'll go way back, back when we weren't exactly on the right side of the law. We left said life around the same time, looking for better things. The, the way we looked for those things put us on different paths, haha. <laughs> Wait, you had childhood friends? Does he know about that? Oh, come on! Fun time of yours. Of course I did, believe it or not. I had a decent social life during my youth. Just like you have Ariel and Bernard, I have my share of childhood friends as well. And yes, he knows about it. I keep no secrets from him. Hmm, Elle and I are like brothers, though that episode was hilarious, and it wasn't the only related incident he had. You know, as long as I avoid saying too many of these out loud, maybe I can get away- uh, maybe I can avoid getting my channel blown up, I don't know. Did he tell you about the time he tried hanging on a woman only to find out she was a lesbian? Oh boy. Ha 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 Pinky, are you gonna t are you gonna tell me more? Shut up, both of you. I rather keep that episode behind me. Oh, wow. Well, eventually all three of us became close friends. We used to hang out together all the time. Ha, <laughs> hint on a lesbian. What a loser. I'll ask you more about it later, Zach. And he shall tell you nothing about it. Right, Zach? Anyways, Kenrad, don't you have women to hit on? Right, where's everyone anyway? I, heard I see hardly anyone besides us here. I think many of the guests are at the balcony, where this is... Uh, there is also an open bar. Perhaps you should take a look. An open bar, eh? Thanks, and smell you later, Pinky. Before you go, there's one thing I wanted to ask. How do you think the encounter with the Smile Maker would have turned out had Arsha not shown up? Uh... Second option. We probably wouldn't be having this conversation. The clown's a maniac, so I don't think he would have given us a quick death. Probably would have been tortured, dissected, or turned to slaves in his theater of madness. Our way, I'm glad he showed up. A true hero never fails to give credit where it's due. Well, even though I may disagree with some of your other qualities, I'm glad you at least know when to be grateful. Anyway, with an open bar and the girls waiting for me, I don't want to waste another minute of this party talking to men. I'm off. Yeah, it's just too much work to... It seems like it'd be way too much work to... Gar. So frustrating dealing with all these edits. Gah. Editing this is gonna be real painful. You know, I, I'm almost afraid that if the developer sees this let's play, he's just gonna add in more of those statements just to screw... Uh, d or something. I was... I don't know. It is taking quite some time for the dinner to get prepared. Though it's only dust, the luscious aroma from the kitchen keeps seizing my appetite. Uh, 
Does he not realize that this makes it might make things tougher for me? Never in his wildest dreams did this old hunter think he'd be invited to a royal wedding, but here he is. I'm not sure if I like it or not. I take the hard meat at the guild over the expensive wine here any day. Seems that all of the masters of the Hunter's Guild were invited to this banquet. I was surprised I got my invitation. It was more than likely just a diplomatic gesture. I still don't think our Emperor actually respects the lifestyle of a Hunter. I have never seen your face before. In what way are you affiliated with the Imperial Family? Let's forget about the Imperial Family. Instead, let's talk about how we can get more affiliated with each other. Uh, I think she's married. Brodus, watch your filthy mouth, peasant. You were talking to the Queen Taylor Shara, the Queen of Shargon. Did it crash? Yeah, it crashed. Good thing I think I, think I saved, though, so I should be fine if I reload. Okay, I'm back to where I was. No crash this time. Foo foo. It's okay, bros. He's actually pretty cute. What is your name, boy? The name's Kenrad Krauser, and I'm from Mid Glen. I'm gonna be here in Moralia for a while, it seems. A Krauser, hmm? Pleased to meet you, Kenrad. You should come visit the islands of Shergon sometime. I'd like to get you to know you better. I never reject a beautiful lady's invitation. I'll be sure to drop by sometime. I'll be looking forward to it. Don't you think you're a little out of place there, kid? Don't you think you're a little out of shape, old man? What you say, you little run? I'm going to. Rose, this is no time for that. We're at, we're at a celebration. Oh, I apologize, my queen. What the heck was that all about? We're in this place for over 30 years, and now I've witnessed many ch and I've witnessed many joyous occasions. This is indeed the finest place to get married, if there ever was any. Uh. Hello, my name is Sigmund Sar, and I'm the advisor to His Majesty Emperor Amaroth. Though sometimes I feel like I am his advisor in name only, since he rarely listens to me. But since the salary is good and I, c I can enjoy being part of occasions like this, who am I to complain? Uh, seriously. I'm really afraid I'm gonna end up g getting into a huge scandal just like those other, uh, 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 other YouTubers and streamers. Ugh. Why I'm just so. That's why I'm. I'm afraid this game might be my Waterloo someday. The aroma from the kitchen is truly extraordinary. My taste buds are literally tingling with anticipation. Good day. I hope you are enjoying the banquet as much as we are. As much as three middle-aged men talking about nothing in particular, I'd say I'm enjoying it a bit better. It has indeed been a, sp a splendid evening thus far. I cannot wait for His Majesty's speech. Yes, Kenrad Avden. Wait, how do you know my name? Let's just say I know a lot of things. What? He knows me, huh? Something feels wrong about this guy. Better stay away from him. Fiona. Wait a minute, Avdan is one of the generals here. I'm guessing he knows who I am because maybe... Uh, maybe Ke uh, uh, Kenrad's father uh, uh, mentioned him, or maybe he visited Kenrad when he was little or something like that. I don't know. Banquet or no banquet, we generals always have the right to remain armed. Besides, some of us just don't feel right when too far away from our armor or weapons. I can relate. Heh, well I hope you have a good time, and don't worry, I'll keep you safe, though I can't guarantee it if you're getting attacked by old Baraxi, though. Hunter, I would never have thought you would be invited as a guest here, but good for you. He still looks angry, though. Better not mention it in his face, of course. Um, where to go now? This way will probably... I don't know. Where's this lead me? Tell me. No, not gonna tell me. What about her? All the men here have been hanging on me. I suppose when you are as ravishingly beautiful as I, it is only natural to be desired so. This is not what I dressed up for. Seriously, what am I gonna do? 
Well, run while you still can. Instead of letting me party, Mr. Master Arshin's gonna give me some combat tips. Hey, I almost didn't recognize you with that hairstyle. You look totally different. Huh, in a good way, I hope. Kenrad, I hope you are having fun because I sure am not. Why, I can't find a woman of her type in here? No, I'm just not interested to begin with. I'm not much of a romantic, let alone a social butterfly. I've always been a lone wolf. Well, that's too bad. Look at the type who can get some from time to time. Speaking of which, try not to flirt around too much or do anything that might put me in a bad position. Remember that your hero is my escort. Anything you do or don't do might affect my reputation. It'll be fine. If that's the case, I'll double, I'll double your reputation by the end of the night. You just lay back, relax, and be your usual edgelord self. I'll be going around doing my thing. That only doubles my worries. Oh come on, I crashed again? Why is this place crashing so much? Okay, reload. I got back to this point. Either way, as soon as the Emperor's speech and the banquet are over, we'll be out of here. First thing we'll do is check up with my hired archaeologist, see what he found. Though, it probably it's probably too early for him to have found anything useful. Got it, boss. Gah. Why am I crashing so much in this one room? Uh. Anyways, gotta talk to you. Most royal weddings are just glorified political affairs. But looking at the blessed couple today, you can see that their love for each other is genuine, and that is truly a beautiful thing. Can I go up here? I can. Uh, there's also additional paths I can go through. How do I know which one? How? Curses. Thank you very much for coming to my wedding. They say that marriage marks the beginning of a new life, and it's one that I shall welcome with open arms and an open heart. Wow, she's even more gorgeous than the rumors could ever say. Do not flirt with her! For obvious reasons! Okay, so what's in this room? Uh, I gotta save, 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 because this room is very crashy. Hail Hunter, I used to be one as well, before I rose up the ranks into Lordship. And here I am today, marrying the love of my life, all in the finest building in the Aegean continent. Sometimes life throws you obstacles you, not, you cannot overcome, but as long as you are with the one you love, everything will be just fine. And where do I go now? Seriously. What do I do? Go! Go! Let me go for... Okay, not through here. Uh, here? I don't know. No, not here. I just don't friggin' know. At least put up, like, signs or something. This place can be pretty confusing. There's only two exits left. Well, actually, I still need to talk to... Uh, I don't... I can, if I talk to her, I'll end up dancing for 15 minutes, and I'm not sure I should do that. This is a professional, but when the Duke asks me for a dance after the royal speech, I remember how out of practice I am. Why don't you practice with me for a while? I'm sure I can help take your mind off things. Really? Well, I'd love that. Let's take the floor over there, then. Kenrat, do you even know how to dance? Fifteen minutes later... My, you're not half bad. We should do it again sometime. Wait, really? Gasp. Gasp. It was... Gasp. Fun. Okay, that didn't go too bad, surprisingly. I'm gonna go in a separate slot just in case that 15 minutes was something important. Uh, I see... Wait a minute. That's... I, there's a ton of NPCs there, but what about to the south? Charge! Nope. Any place where there's a guard station is definitely off limits, huh? Okay. To the balcony, then. 
But I won't be able to buy any drinks if I don't have any Sharon. What the hell? Good greetings, good sir. What would you like to have today? Give me a glass of your finest. The finest fit for a true hero. Certainly. One Ryan Blanque coming right up. Oh shoot, no! If I'm drunk, that might affect all the dialogue. Curses! What have I done? No! Here you go, sire. The finest wine fit for a hero. Ah. That's really good stuff, man. Wish I had this back in mid -glen. I'm not drunk? Oh, shoot! Each one might have a chance to get me drunk. Okay, I'm not drunk yet. Let's cut my losses and just talk to people. I've heard the wine here is imported from the same dealer as the singing sparrow in. Frankly, I'm glad we managed to come early. If I knew they'd have an open bar, I would have come even earlier. Guess it's as I say. Those who can buy any fin love free stuff m the most. The open bars are the best thing about parties like this. Damn right, Tristan not being a tool bag. Huh? Uh, Tristan indeed. You seem like a fun guy yourself. What do you do for a living? Contracts. Well, I'm not busy with one of those. I live life on my own terms. I'm a free spirit, you could say. I see, so you're a mercenary. No, a hunter. Don't know about the rest of the guys here, but I respect your profession. Wartime is bad enough as it is. It'd be even worse without you guys doing your thing. Let us see some appreciation. Oh, and you serve the Empire, huh? Sort of, I suppose. I'm a trainer at Credvale Academy. Though most of my students don't treat me like one. Huh? Well, can you blame them? You look and act way too chill to be one of those teacher types. Yeah, I get that a heck of a lot. Even so, I think I deserve more respect from them than I get now. I have my own way of teaching, and it works well enough. Speaking of, I try to make sure that my students become strong in mind and body, without becoming humorless drones. Lady Fiona inspired me to do things that way. It's easier said than done, of course, just like wooing noble woman. And failing so many times kind of burns you out for a while. Wah, well, at least they're mad enough to admit they're out of your league. Anyway, it was a fun chat. And I don't say that to guys often, so take that as a major compliment. Well, it was an honor to meet you, Mr. Hunter. Have fun and try not to burn yourself out. Oh boy. Just hope I don't screw this up. Do not crash on me. Verona, wee, you're pretty hick. I see you girls are having fun. Hey, Kenrad, look, Verona and I got ourselves dresses with matching styles. Doesn't she look pretty? I see right for your tricks, pothead. If I compliment her, you get all jealous since you're wearing the same type of dress. If I compliment you instead of her, then she might get upset. Ha! Whoa, not bad, Kenrad. Hey, Kenrad, maybe one of these days you'll be able to get yourself a date. Heh. <laughs> but seriously, though, Rona's strong, so you can compliment me without worrying about upsetting her. Alright then. That dress looks. First option. Free on you. Seriously? I totally thought you were gonna pull another one on me, but thanks. More importantly, what do you do to her? She looks totally wasted. Wasted. We. Well, I thought this would be a great place where we get our first drink. What with the at this atmosphere and the wedding coming up. She just gave her one small glass of the lightest Moscow they had here, and yeah, a small glass of freaking Moscow did that. Wow. Even though I'm not that bad with my drinks. We he he. So. If Kenrad becomes a dad, will they call him the Rad Dad? Ro, I doubt he'll, uh, he'll become a dad in the near future, or any future for that matter. Heh, <laughs> Veggie Lux, be the gr little green mommy you are and make sure Rona doesn't try to climb and jump off the railing or something. Relax, this little green mommy has everything under control. It really is hard to concentrate on the job when there are so many gorgeous women around you. What job? All you gotta do is stand here and try not to fall asleep. Well, there could be an assassin. And talk to Ariel last, apparently. This ceremony uh, has really helped me take my mind off my own problems. I think as soon as I talk to her, I'm gonna, s I'm gonna get into a guidance chapter of sorts. Kind of like 
uh, how I uh, in the trails in the sky I would control uh, jo uh, Joshua uh, for one chapter and then in what is it and in cold steel I would control uh, Lloyd and Rishi uh, for one chapter yeah it's gonna be kind of like that and it's probably gonna suck balls because I'm on warlord mode with very and they're not gonna give me any good resources or any, or anything useful and I'm gonna be stuck with a single character that I'm not used to using. It's gonna probably gonna be one of the toughest parts of the game. Even tougher than the beginning where I got whomped by bandits. Okay, save and talk to Ariel's friend here. It is truly magnificent scenery for a truly magnificent banquet. This truly magnificent wine makes it all the better. So this is not so magnificent blondie. Wahaha! I'd be loath to dignify such boorish remarks, so I shan't. What a truly magnificent attitude, bro! Yeah. Now's the, my chance to save and hope I don't crash during this next conversation! Kenrad? Oh my god, what are you doing here? Hey, I can ask you the same thing. What are you doing here? Come on, I ask you first. Alright, fine. Well, after Pinky and me left Midglen, went to Adolin and... Ten minutes later. Then we met with Arjun and Morgan at the inn, and here we are. Wow, you, sh you sure had a rough journey, especially when dealing with those Sargo fights. No wonder it took you- it took a while for you to get here. Yeah, those mask freaks were annoying. Anyway, your turn now. Well, long story short, two of Credvale's highest ranked nobles were to be invited to this ceremony. Those uh, highest ranked rookies, whoops, not nobles, highest ranked rookies. Those rookies happen to be me and Prince Adius. Oh shoot, he was a prince. I bear me <laughs> Oh shoot, I just pissed off royalty. Oh, this here's Adius. Say hi. Hey, congrats. Without a natural strength of yours, I'm not surprised you made the top two. Also, hi, Blondie Pants. Do you actually wear pants? You don't look like it. My, such petty insults. You best sharpen your vocabulary before you can hope to match my tongue of silver. Oh, you want to be insulted in a classy manner, eh? Hey, don't turn away from me. I ain't done trash talking you. Oh, you two should make would make such a cute team. Cute? Oh, I'd rather team up with a slime or an orc than that pretentious pea-haired poser. Anyway, we still got a lot of time before the ceremony starts. Why don't you tell me about your training and what it was like in Credvale, and make it playable so that Bug Craig will rip his hair out just trying to get, uh, manage resources. Uh, I didn't think you'd actually care. It's a long story, though. You still want to hear it? Play Ariel's Ark. Oh, I can actually skip it! In that case, good thing I made a save. This could be ugly. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe.